them for mature. What's oh, really good, people of the internet? Say, so, Carter Hart here, back at it again with another motherfucking motor vlog, baby. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? Oh boy. Today's trip, round two at Cycle Gear. Or should I say, Cycle Gear round two? <laughs> Man, let me tell you guys, man. I literally just left Cycle Gear about 20 minutes ago, right? Because uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a meetup going on in um, Orlando, Florida this month. Uh, it's the it's the meetup for the uh, AIM Expo. The meetup is being hosted by uh, Suburban Suburban Delinquent uh, Z, as well as Shade Tree Surgeon. So the trip is in Orlando, Florida. It's gonna be um. The meetup is actually for the 15th and the 16th because those are the two days that the uh, American International Motorcycle Expo is going on and stuff. But me, myself, I'm heading up to Orlando on the 14th. Now, honestly speaking, if I wanted to, I could leave Saturday morning, the 15th, to head up there and still be in time for the meet and greet with Sub D, Shade Tree, Z, and everything, and still be able to go to the expo, look at all the new gear coming out, check out the new motorcycles and all that stuff. I could do all that on Saturday because uh, I live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so I'm literally just like three hours by car away from Orlando. Since I'm going to be riding my bike out there, dude, it'll probably take me about two hours, maybe two and a half hours, depending on if I stop or not. But uh, yeah, so in preparation for the trip, I'm uh, doing a lot of maintenance on my bike right now. Uh, the, when I went up to Cycle Gear initial, initially, I know that I got a... Uh, chain lube chain cleaner i got the uh chain cleaning brush i also got a uh, brake fluid as well as some uh rear brakes for my bike because uh my rear brakes are they're very fucking low dude like oh my god i found that out when i changed my tire like uh last month or so i mean i, I still got pad on there but they are very fucking low i'm damn near metal to metal so you know don't want to ride like that so i'm gonna get, fix my shit son so yeah i got the brake pads at the house got the uh Chain loop cleaner and stuff. I, bu I even bought me a damn it. Start the fuck out trying to go in neutral. God damn it, psychotic. There we go. So yeah, I even bought a little plastic tube because I'm flushing my brakes as well. I'm gonna flush the front brakes too because it's like if I'm doing the back brakes, why not do the front brakes? I mean, I'm not changing the front brake pads yet. Yet. But I'm doing, just doing the rear for now. So I'm gonna change the fluid on both. Put in new uh, rear pads because my front pads are still pretty fucking good. I mean, I'd say they're at least 50% on there, so no need to worry about that. But anyways, the reason I'm going back to side gear is because, uh, yeah, I went up there to get the brake. When I got the brake fluid, uh, I opened, uh, went online to check exactly what fluid it is that I need for my bike, but I fucked up. <laughs> Uh, I looked at the wrong manual. The manual I looked at was for um, an older model, Kawasaki. I thought I was looking at the Z1, but I, I don't remember the exact type it was, but it was some other type of fucking Kawasaki that took, uh, that recommended DOT5 brake fluid. So I went ahead and bought that. That shit was uh, fucking $16.50 for one damn bottle. I was like, God damn. I was like, you know what I needed, so fuck it. But anyways, man, yeah. Get the shit. Get to my house. Look at my phone again to make sure I got the right stuff because like a dumbass I didn't think to do that while I was still in fucking cycle gear. And uh yeah, it turns out my bike is recommended DOT4. So now like god damn it, I gotta ride back to cycle gear, which isn't a problem because it gives me a chance and an excuse to ride my motorcycle today. <laughs> Go back up there, return this uh dot five fluid, get the dot or DOT4 that I need, and plus some damn DOT4 is a lot fucking cheaper anyway, so those were uh $9.99 a piece versus a goddamn $16, $16.50. So the fuck, bitch, give me back my money and give me my mother. Oh, is that? No, that's scooter. Yeah, give me my motherfucking money and give me back the damn fluid I actually need. Oh, shit. I got on regular sneakers right now, son. I usually don't don't ride in regular sneakers. But I typically always wear my uh, motorcycle shoes whenever I'm riding. Unless I'm coming from work, of course, because I wear steel toe boots when I go to work. So, you know what? Uh, shortcut. Yeet! <laughs> oh, I have a light turn green. Oh, I don't fuck. This is a shortcut, anyways. And it's got this nice little curve right here, too. Lean on that bit, ho. Y'all got out of that bit. Cheat! <laughs> you a little bit speed on here, son? So good to be out 
out riding today, man. But yeah, man, my, my weekend, this this is a very bittersweet weekend for me. Just get let you guys know that at the time of me recording this vlog, it is October 1st, Saturday. It's like a one, two o'clock in the afternoon right now, man. But fucking Friday, September 30th, I got a notification from my some from some of my riding buddies that I met through Moto Amino. And unfortunately, one of the guys that I recently met and have rode with uh, two or three times, he passed away Thursday night. Yeah, man. Ugh. From what I understand, apparently he was racing against an, an R1. He's he was on a um, <coughs> excuse me, he was on a hundred six hundred. So I, I think it was a hundred CBR six hundred double R something like that. I don't remember exactly what type of motorcycle he rides, but apparently he was racing the guy. Um, they ended up running a red light, and some way or another he ended up losing control of his bike, and he ended up crashing into a light pole. The pole pivots, so he hit the pole hard enough where he knocked the pole over. Right, so the pole fell. The pole was knocked over. His bike was on fire. I don't know exactly what happened to him because none of us were there. Not me, not his friend Paul that he usually rides with, not Nightmare is dealing any of us, none of us was with him. But this is just what we were told happened by his uh, family. So, yeah, man, I got a fucking funeral to go to first thing tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow afternoon. But damn, dog, that shit, that shit really made I won't lie, for a moment there, when I first heard the news, I was like, you know what, man, I'm done. Seriously, it it showed me just that bad. Uh, look at this from my perspective. This is, Here we have a guy that I recently met, only rode with like two or three times, but due to the simple fact that he's someone I've known and I've rode with, uh, we, we've got somewhat of a bond as brothers because we ride and stuff, so find out that someone I just recently met has already died, dude. Like, really? And the fucked up thing is, I'm 25. If I'm not mistaken, he was like 22 or 23, man. So, not only is he younger than me, but he's dead before me. It's, it's, just, it's just fucked up. It's fucked up, because the messed up thing is, this happened Thursday night. Where he passed away Thursday night. I was chatting with and considering to going out and riding with them Wednesday afternoon. The only reason I ended up not going, cause I don't, I'm not gonna go into any details, but something was going on with my wife and the pregnancy, so we had to get that taken care of. So I didn't go around with them on that Wednesday night. And then uh, Friday, I'm at fucking work, halfway through the day, having a chill ass day at work and stuff, man. And then I see a bunch of notifications from Instagram. I open up my Instagram, check out our messaging group, and there we have it, the news that the man died. I was like, what the fuck, man? That, that shit really shook me, man. Cause I, here's my thing. I don't care if I only get to ride with you one time in my entire life. That one time that I ride with you, man, to me, we've bonded. We, we fucking brothers from this point on, man. So if something happens to them, and I hear about it, that, that shit fucking upsets me, man. That is, it, it's hard to deal with. I mean, it, it's just so un, unbelievable, man, how quickly life can change in an instant. Like, oh, fuck, dog. This, this, just re remembering this shit is really starting to fuck with me again. But the funeral, well, it's not even the funeral tomorrow. Um, Sunday, October 2nd, they're pretty much doing the, um, what is it called, a fucking wake service where you go in and get to see them and all that, that kind of stuff. And then Monday is uh, supposedly when the funeral is going to be. So your boy will be attending. I don't know if I will or won't record anything during the funeral. Chances are I probably won't, and even if I do record anything, I probably won't post it. Just out of respect for him and his family so we'll see i'm not going to make any promises that i am I'm not going to promise that i'm not going to post anything just just know it's a, it's a fucked up world we live in man how quickly somebody can lose their life 
But anyways, I'm back up here fucking cycle gear now. Damn, there were no bikes up here when I left earlier. Uh, all the motorcycle parking is taken, so I'm gonna have to, you know, they say get in where you fit in, right? Let's park up here. Buddy got his damn plate turned around. He said, "Fuck, fuck that." <laughs> I'm gonna park up in between you guys. But yeah, YouTube fam, that's it for my vlog today, man. Y'all enjoyed the video as usual. Be so kind as to leave me a like down below. Uh, let me know in the comments if you got any friends or anything that recently passed away, man. Just spread the spread the word, share the love. But yeah, in the meantime, man, it's me, boy, Psychotic Heart, and as per usual. Peace out, motherfuckers.